The root cause for the ups and downs over the past few years is that the U.S. side takes China as its main competitor. Some even refer to China as the existential threat. Containment and the regime change, typical in the Cold War years, are short-sighted and dangerous, as pointed out already by many fair-minded people. Inciting hatred with McCarthyist language serves no one's interest. Taking China as the imaginary enemy could funnel the U.S. strategic resources to the wrong place. China has no plan to challenge or replace the U.S., nor should the U.S. attempt to contain China. China does not interfere in the U.S. election and domestic politics, and the U.S. should refrain from interfering in China's domestic affairs and playing the China card in the election year. When we see each other as friends and partners, the China-U.S. relationship will develop better. Second, differences are not formidable, and we should resolve them through dialogue. It is only natural that China and the United States may differ on this or that issues. But differences should not prevent us from seeking common ground, developing the bilateral ties, and deepening cooperation based on mutual interest. The key is to manage differences properly, not allowing them to dominate the relationship. It is unrealistic to intimidate China through the maximum pressure. Only dialogue helps bring solutions. Third, decoupling leads to nowhere, and we need to work together for win-win results. China's development and trade with the U.S. contribute to the latter's economic growth broaden the market prospects to American companies and bring high quality and inexpensive goods to American households. The over 70,000 American companies are sharing in the dividends of China's development. Their exports to China have supported 930,000 American jobs. Trade war, industrial war, and tech war have no winners. Decoupling will not bring the wanted results. To our two countries, respective Success means mutual opportunities, not challenges, and the two sides should help each other succeed. We need to make the list of cooperation longer and the negative list shorter. We should diffuse the negative zero-sum narratives with the uplifting stories of dialogue and cooperation.